Hey, I'm Chris Perry here with a three minute hit on Northern Lights Resources. NLR is the ticker symbol. Uh, you might recall we talked about Northern Lights a couple of months back, uh, just briefly when they started a new program with us. And we haven't said much about them since. And there's a reason for that. Uh, people who pay attention to such things will have noticed that the company has gone very quiet recently, that it had been not putting out news, not talking about itself, not even really answering the phone. We found that too. Um, this isn't always a sign of nefarious activity, right? Sometimes you buy into a stock and you think everything's going to be great, and then you just never hear from them again. But sometimes companies don't talk because they can't talk, because they're doing deals in private that they need to get through before they're allowed to put out any news about any damn thing. This is the situation that NLR found itself in. Uh, Northern Lights has a, a, uh, a program at... Um, a project known as, if I can just get back to it. Come on. Here we go. The Medicine Springs Project. Okay. It sounds like every other mining project. This is why I didn't have it at the top of my head. All right. But this is a silver, zinc, and lead project. That Rain of Silver has been kind of circling around for a couple of years now. Back in 2020, uh, Northern Lights did the deal to get the rights to this property. But they had to work it. They had to raise some money to do it. But Rainer is looking at this property and saying, hey, we're big boys. Uh, we could take a spin at this if you wanted to. And we even give you, I don't know, maybe a million bucks. We can take half the property and we'll give you a million dollars and we'll work it. And you guys just sit back, put your feet up, have a cup of tea. Well, more recently, Rainer and Northern Lights got together and said, why are we pussyfooting around this? We want the property. You know we want the property. We know you don't really need the property. How about we give you about 2.5 million bucks worth of stock and cash and NSR, and you'll go away and play golf. And the guys in Northern Lights were like, golf's good, and you know, $2.5 million is great for a company with a market cap of $450,000. Peoples, you know, this is good. This is like a five times return on your money. If you just closed the shop now, if you just said, everyone hand in your chips, the table's going home, $2.5 million return, for a company worth 450000 on the exchange. You know what we call that back in the hood, boys? We call that a good old fashioned arbitrage. But here's the thing, the market doesn't get it because there's been so many people willing to sell their stock in Northern Lights because it's been quiet that they've said, well, I just hit, hit the trigger. Hit, put, the, put the stop loss in. As, as soon as this thing goes up over two and a half cents, just sell everything. I'll take whatever I can get. So people are selling millions of shares today on great news because the story is so quiet that even good news, even this good news hasn't traveled to the shareholders yet. Let me explain. Uh, the stock price of NLR, when we brought it in, and we brought in pretty heavy recently, uh, we've got in there about five cents a share. Uh, and we bought enough, I'll be honest with you here, full disclosure, we bought enough to be around a 5% owner in the company itself, by my estimation. So this is a lot of stock we bought in there, but we bought it because it was worth zero. And if this thing fell over in the right direction and puffed up a little bit of dirt and exposed a bit of rock, well, we were going to see a big old return on our money. $450,000 market cap? Good God. Imagine if you had a 450,000 property you bought in Surrey, a two bedroom with a little bit of character and an opportunity to knock it down once in a while. And then someone said, hey, Give it to me and in two years, I'll give you $2.2 million for it. You would say, slap that ass. I will take that money. Thank you, sir. Well, this is the deal. Uh, that This little company that had been quiet, that nobody was paying attention to, yesterday did this big-ass deal to get some near-turn dollars into the treasury, ensure their survival, still have a little bit of upside if the property gets worked and finds its way to a nice big old ready-to-produce situation. But in the short term, great deal for NLR. Now, I will say as an NLR guy, long term, not a great deal because I believe in the property. I think the property will show good results, as does Rain and Silver. And when it does, I think that NLR will regret that it sold the property right now, today. But fact remains, NLR did not have the money to accurately, properly work this property. And getting the money would have been expensive. They would have given over a lot more of their stock than they'd have been comfortable with. So this is a good short-term deal that brings a good amount of money 
so that they can find their next thing. Long term, well, you know, they've got the 1% NSR, so they'll get something at the back of it. And, you know, if they really want to, they have the right to buy back in at half for a set amount of cash. Long story short, as a large shareholder in this company, I am comfortable with the deal that they did today. I think near term, it puts them in a much better position. There's plenty of cheap property going around that they can look at and make use of with the cash that they have in their hand. And just from a market position, a two cent stock, that yesterday was a one cent stock. But today is a two cent stock. It has traded 11 million shares at the time that I am doing this video, 11 million shares. And you know how far it's gone up? One cent. One cent. That means that there were a lot of people who are prepared to take anything they could get for this stock. But there are also a lot of people who are saying, I'll take that, I'll take that, I'll take that, I'll take that. Who else is going to sell me cheap? You're going to sell me cheap. You're going to sell me. It's like the, the trading floor at trading places, right? This is just like, we'll, we'll take all your money, uh, all your stock. Give us all your stock at two cents, two and a half cents. Keep it coming, keep it coming. It'll probably still be trading tomorrow. I imagine when people look at the market cap of this company, they will do mental gymnastics and they will start the wheels turning. I don't often say that a stock will go up, but I genuinely believe in my heart of hearts, do your own due do, do, do diligence. <coughs> Excuse me, I got a cold. Do your own due diligence, but for goodness sakes, if you just look at the math, this thing has to go up. If they turned the lights off tomorrow and just cashed everything up and returned it to shareholders, we would all make five times our money. It's absurd. I like this deal. I'm glad that NLR has been working behind the scenes and not just shutting up like everyone thought they were. I'm interested to see what happens next. This sale has my full support as a large shareholder in this company. NLR, Northern Lights Resources, there is still arbitrage to be had.